Hey, Arthur. You okay, Mary Beth? Are you okay, Arthur? What happened with Strauss? There's nothing else for him left here. Maybe not for the rest of us, neither. You okay? What is happening to us? Just make this place work, Pearson. For now. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Jaren. Here we are, Arthur. Why don't you lay off the bottle for a bit? Why don't you lay off me? I don't want to die. Now, you fools want to die acting all disruptive like this. Now, this is Duchess Arthur? Gang. Hello. Duchess. And we follow him. Sure. Of course it is. <laughs> but... But what? But open your goddamn eyes, you fool. Open your eyes. We'll die if we stay here. You're the fool. A disloyal fool. Hey. Ain't no one being disloyal here, boy. You're too dumb to understand what's going on, ain't Come you? On, you are, Don't you fun. test me, Morgan. Yeah. I'd try to explain. Why are you such a son of a bitch? But it ain't even worth it. Don't worry about him, Abigail. Talking to me about Who do you think you are? Bill don't want to see the truth, that's all. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Uh-huh. You okay? What's with him? Uh, everyone's on edge right now. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I've got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. 
My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... Chief. Yeah. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <gasps> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said... Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Yeah. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. The federal government... Sure. Wait here. Situation. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? 
You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Don't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Arthur, let's go. I'll kill you. You son of a bitch. Leave now. Out this way. Come on.
I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Yep. Easy. 
Hello there and welcome. Ready for a clean slate? Thanks for your assistance. Come on, pal. Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> well, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while, and we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on, now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. Hey, there he is! Come on in! Come on! I hope she ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? <laughs> I didn't mean to intrude, miss. <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. She'll uh, be down in just a minute. Woohoo! That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a oh, Hey! Hey! <laughs> Wait, this is just about perfect. God. One of them moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us, like a couple of old friends. <laughs> oh, it's a short life, but a merry one. Here we are, all the fixings. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mmm, that smells delicious. <laughs> Food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop <laughs> it, you! How do you like it? Mm, it's good. Different. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm that meat is so tender. Mm, you know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was, when we was kids. Mm. 
Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Horrible. But we still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a hog killing time. Here, here, that's for you. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Mm. 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 Where are my manners? <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. <laughs> that stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, I doubt he needs that. Let's loosen you up some more. Come on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is that? It's an old Aberdeen home recipe. That one right there's in 1894. Well, feels like someone's stabbing me in the head. Come on, I thought I had a man here, not a boy. <laughs> one more, and you and I both will go upstairs and have a lie down. <laughs> ah, what the hell? <sighs> <laughs> I take whatever cash he has on her and put it behind mom. Yep. Okay, boy.
So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys, they won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But... It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite. You and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So... You finally got to see Colm Hanks. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. Over here, Arthur. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Hot oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped. Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? 
What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fire first, soldier! My father won't be... It's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so, back to what I was talking about. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. I have a bad feeling about this. We said nobody would be killed. It's done now. If Colonel Favors finds out it was us, then so be it. We tried talking. We should get out of here soon, though. I agree. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Sending riders from the fort, we need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. 
All right, go on. Let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah! Let's see if we can lose them down here. These are the last seconds. Shit! I guess... Get behind something, Arthur! Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. Oh. Um, This is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up, then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith.
Arthur. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he's, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe. I'll wait for you here. Come in. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. <clears throat> he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. In any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. 
Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes downriver, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's Fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, uh... I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch... <sighs> I gotta try. I own that, at least. Hey there! You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No, come on, don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. <laughs> well, it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way... It is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head... Oof. Just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Yeah, but might help us with sneaking in there. So Rainsfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken, elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah, this isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Should be fine. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Group. Hopefully, we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Let's deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Stick to the wall. There's a guard right above us.
wait there. Slow. We got two more ahead. One down here, one up in the tower. Good. A bit further on here. This is the spot. Keys, you have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Got him. Come on. Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that, he... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh. I'm fine, I'm fine. Damn it! We'll have to shoot our way out.
broken when they took me in. Damn. They must have fixed it. Arthur, deal with this, would you? Yes, but how? Come on. Let's use this thing. to the canoes.
lost him. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father, even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front, let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No much. Sadie. You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I... I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to my husband? Look, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail. Jack. John. Make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean... Help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. 
Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> Fine morning for a killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll we'll take it from there. Take it from there. Okay. So no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. I know that woman. Shoot. Come on. Let's finish this. It's over now!
Okay. Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> 